Hello everyone. Today I want to introduce a simulation case of the sparkle to our tube. Uh, this tube is made up of three layers, and here is the inside layer. It's the PE material. And the outside layer is also PE tube. And in the middle of the two tubes is a composite tube. So here we have three layers of tube and made up of two different materials. It is usually used of Trans gas transform transformation. Uh, we want to get the buckle load and want to know how big the capacity it can it can stand up. So we make, make this the AE model. As I just showed you, this model is composed of three parts. The outside tube, inside tube, and the middle composite layer. So there are two two kind of materials we need to define. Here is the PE material, and we make it as elastic material. Here's modulus is six hundred megapascal, and the perforation is about zero point four four. The other material is a composite layer, lamina. Here we define the laminar elasticity property and the fair stress. The lamina is a anisotropic material, so we need to define there's all six numbers and we need to define the first stress. It means the stress of failure of the material. It includes tensile stress of fiber, compressed stress of fiber stress, transfer, and the stress, shear stress. So, these are the material property. Uh, then we need to define the section property. Here, we first create the section of PE tube and it's a solid homogeneous section. But for the composite material, we used the composite layout manager here because it's made up of five layers. I increase it to 5, and it's a conventional shear, and continue. Here, I have created it already. This is the 5 plus of the composite layer. The region is the whole shear, and the material is the composite material we created. And the thickness 
because we have different thickness of every slide so we can change it to what we want and here is the fiber direction and this the green the green arrow indicate the direction of our fibers in the plot. So we can see different plots, the direction of fiber. Here we have assigned the parts, the corresponding sections and layouts. Then we go to assembly and make it at the correct position. Here is the core model we create. In the state module, we create a linear buckle so create step we change it to linear perturbation and choose buckle and continue we want to get the first three in the values of buckle so i give it three and okay Then if we want to get the composite value, we can create a output field output as a composite layup. Here we need to create this set. But we don't need it. Uh, because we defined it with the composite layer, so it's created itself. Now, if we choose the composite layer, it shows up here automatically. So we choose the value of fraction items for the composite layer. And for the whole model, we just need the displacement of every nurse. Then in the interaction module, we need to tie it to tie the uh, surface of the between the three layers of tube. So we need to create two ties between the three layer tubes. Here it is the composite and inside tube and the outside tube with the composite shear. Then we need to create a constraint, copy constraint, because we have created the two reference in the in the circle center. So we create a kinematic coupling between the reference point and the end surface or edge of the tube. So here we have created created two coupling constraint because it has two ends. Then we go to load module and create the load and the boundary condition. The con boundary condition as we can see we just uh, in the bottom reference point 
it means we fix the whole bottom face and the edge of this tube. Then the load is a distributed pressure at the out to outside tube. And the magnitude is about one megapass. So after all of this, we can go to the mesh and create the mesh. Uh, we give the global element size of 20 millimeter and mesh the part. So this is the composite here and outside tube, inside tube. That was just for a it's just a demo. So the element number of the sinking direction is just one layer. But if your computer is uh, is good enough, you can make the element smaller and get a uh, get a better result. So after mesh, we can we can see the model is look like this. Three different layers of the tube. Um, because the composite is. Uh, a shear, so there is a clearance. When we see the model, uh, if we want to show the thickness of the composite layer, we can change it here. Render the shear thickness. So here we can show the all thickness of the tube. And we didn't choose it. It's just like this. So then we need to check the element type because this solid element we choose this C three D bar C three D at R element type and for the composite it should be S four R element. Yeah. So um, then we can create the job and submit it. Here is the result. As you can see, um, because the uh, stress of the whole model is not defined as field output, so we can see the stress distribution of the solid tube. So we just uh, can see the displacement. So this is the first angle value. It is about um, 34.1. And it means that when the outside pressure is about 34 megapass, the tube will um, compressed to buckle. Here the deformation scale factor is about 60. We can change it here. We can make it thirty. So this is the first buckle mode, and we have extracted three buckle modes. So here is two. We can see this is 
or close to the first buckle model because the tube is uh, about symmetric about the axis. So we can compare the first two models. It looks in the opposite direction. And for the third mode, we can see it's a different deformation mode. So this is uh, more difficult to accept. So from the simulation result, we can know that uh, when the outside pressure is reached 34 megapass, the tube will buckle and may lead to failure of the core tube. So this is the linear buckle analysis of this tube. Uh, Later, I will show you how to do the uh, nonlinear analysis of this tube with Rekin method, Arc method. So, thank you for watching. If you're interested in Optics AE, please please subscribe my channel, and thank you.